Hey guys, Mr. Biz here. We are on location at the Biz house, Biz property here. I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, this is what we got going on right here. You see that? Yeah, this giant pine tree somehow, I can't believe it, it looks crazy, uh, blew down. So uh, I wanna talk to you today about um, cash flow. And you're probably thinking, what the crap does cash flow have to do with a pine tree down in your yard? We, we don't need to see that. All right, so th there's a point to this, I promise. So these are the cash flow. This is one of these things absolutely critical. It's one of my three pillars of financial success. Cash flow, pricing, and budgeting. Got to get those things right. Um, and we talk about things like that as well as other things in uh, Mr. Biz Program at MrBizProgram.com. Go out and check it out. It's uh, if you want me to help you help with, with your business, run it more profitably, more efficiently. Now to cash flow. So we start with a question, and that is related to cash flow. Who likes collections? Raise your hand. Anybody? You like collections? Collections work? The good stuff? No? Okay. I saw the guy in the back right there. You're faking the funk because I know no one likes collection work. Okay. <laughs> so the point is. And collections is obviously critical for cash flow, right? Um, if you have, and you're going to have, inevitably, you're going to have late paying, late paying customers, etc. So, how do we, how do we, you know, fix that? How do we uh, lessen the impact of collections? I should say, so because no one likes it. So first of all, automate it as best as you can. There's a lot of different programs out there you can use, software, etc., to send email around. Reminders, reminders. I was going to say reminders, email reminders. Um, it makes it real easy. You can automate it. So, um, let's say the invoice goes out on day one, and let's say that um, I don't know, uh, five days before they get another email. Gosh darn it, reminder. What, what is that word even? I don't even know. Reminder, uh, and maybe the day before, maybe the day of. And then maybe the day after they get a phone call or another email, it depends. But there's a way to automate a lot of that process. And a great thing, key tip here, when you send those, not reminders, but reminders, um, include a link in there, it's a button actually, that they can pay right then and right there with a credit card. So they're gonna get the reminder and say, gosh, oh, I forgot all about it, dang it. And they go ahead and pay it right there, right there. Make it easy. For them to pay you make it easy to do business with you right that's exactly what you want to do so this is helping you be more more, more proactive gosh what is wrong with my tongue tonight more proactive and by doing this it shows your customers your clients that you're on top of things right because at the end of the day we want to make sure that we get to the top of that pay pile p-i-l-e not pay a p-a-l pay pile so what I mean by that is, those of you who heard me mention this before, when your customer gets to the end of the month and they're paying their bills and they've got $5,000 worth of bills to pay and they might only have $3,000 to pay their bills, right? They're on a cash flow crunch themselves. They're gonna go through that stack of bills and prioritize who gets paid, right? So you wanna make sure that you're at the top of that pay pile so you get paid. One of the ways to do that is to show that you are serious about your invoicing, etc., right? And this is one of those ways to do it. Is if you're, they're getting reminders, they know you're keeping an eye on it. As a, compared to another invoice they may have from another vendor that is not sending reminders, is not on top of it, and so they're going to say, "Ah, you know what? I can probably let that one slide a little bit." But this guy's already sent me two reminders. I better pay this one, right? So, very important. Get to the top of that pay pile. The other thing that collections do, um, depending how large your company is, you probably don't have a full-time collector. So in some cases that may fall on you, which takes you away from what I call our RPAs, revenue producing activities. And we don't want you being pulled away from that. We don't want anyone being pulled away from RPAs or at least as little as possible. So you wanna make sure you're on top of that. Now, here's where the tie in to my fallen friend back here. <laughs> uh, Collections are probably not something you want to do. Now, actually, cracking out the chainsaw and tearing this thing up and making some firewood out of it is something I would like to do. However, it might not be something you would like to do. In addition, it might be a time issue, right? You might not have time to do it. You can't afford not to do collections, though. Just like I can't afford to let this tree lay here for the next, whatever, two months until it dies or whatever. So, and 
And another option is to consider outsourcing your invoicing, not the collections part, but your invoicing. Because if you're more proactive with the invoicing, then you should have less impact on the collection side. So there's, again, that gets you back to more RPAs, revenue producing activities, and that's what you want. So you might be asking, well, how can I do that? Who do I outsource invoicing to? Mr. Biz has got an answer for you. Um, a company I highly recommend, um, their company is called Check Off Your List. Um, the checkoffyourlist.com. They do a bunch of stuff, but they also do invoicing. Um, and they'll handle your invoicing from soup to nuts. Make sure it goes out timely, accurately, the follow-ups, all that good stuff. Um, definitely go out and check out. If, if you're even remotely interested, go out and check out what they provide. Again, they do bookkeeping. I've got a virtual assistant with them myself that I use them for. And that's I've known the owner for three or four years now. They do business the right way. And the other thing they do is if they make an error, they correct it at their own expense. They'll make sure they make it right. There's no, there's no back and forth, there's no craziness, right? So definitely go out and check out, checkoffyourlist.com. I'll put um, a link to their Facebook page as well in the comment or in the, uh, the text header or whatever. But again, cash flow, invoicing, uh, collection stuff, these are just one of the whole bunch of whole things we cover in uh, at mrbizprogram.com. So go out and check that out again. That's for me to help you run your business more profitably, more efficiently, help you with the cash flow, help you with your budgeting, help you with um, your pricing, the three, those three pillars of financial success, I call them, as well as a whole bunch of other things. Basically, we're gonna run your, your business, we're gonna make more money, we're gonna run it more efficiently, so you're gonna have more time. If you're interested in that, go out and check it out, mrbizprogram.com, mrbizprogram.com, and uh, I'd love to see you in the next session. If not, no worries. Thanks for watching the videos, and uh, we will see you guys again soon. Talk to you later. See ya. Hey, by the way, does anyone want to help me with this? You have a hand? Anyone? Maybe? Give me a little hand, like maybe Saturday? All right, see you guys.